All right, let's jump in uh, real quick with those particle hearts that we made last time. I had to lengthen the hitbox on the top so that I could reach them more when I was over them. It seemed like I could stand on them for a little bit. So if you're having that issue, just make sure that you adjust the the attack detection hitbox on the blank animation we were using for the particle. All right, so today what I have been realizing is that our, our walking system, our, our check to see input and then if not input for the walking animation, it's pretty simplistic and it's going to cause some some issues down the road I'm finding. So we're going to refactor our walking a little bit. Uh, the first thing that I noticed is that when you go up against a tile detection, this house for instance, and you keep holding up, you'll notice your character still continues to walk. Now, in for instance, like in RPG Maker, it, it didn't do this. If you were up against a tile and you could not move, it would go to your idle frame. Well, this isn't a big deal. This this next one actually is. So, and we can't really do it because we've only set up one key with our controller or with our keyboard. Yep, our keyboard. So if you press space, you can attack, but it stops your movement anyway, and it stops detecting input. So you can't really see this bug with our current setup. If you have a controller handy though, where all the buttons are set up already, just by default of the engine, uh, when you are walking, I'll, if you can. Uh, press and hold down, not the A, because that's your sword swing, but if you press and hold down the B button, let's just say, and then walk, and then let go of the direction, but still hold to your B button, you'll notice that the player is still in his walking loop, and he's not going to stop until you let go of the B button. And that is because the condition, let me get out of here, that is because the condition we currently have is if there's no input. And since we are holding the B button, we have input. So let's refactor this a little bit. We're going to add in a check, basically. And we're going to base the check off of the current move speed of the player. And we can get that through the variables. and not this move speed that's not the base move speed that we set in the move and jump parameters not the horizontal movement or the vertical movement if you go to this variable management here it's actually going to be these variables the x direction speed and the y direction speed and it gives a little note every frame this object's y direction speed is assigned so every frame it is updating there's movement here there's movement here so we're going to use those variables to decide and we're going to copy the idle and we're going to paste it because during this check we do want the player to look to be in idle still because he's not yet walking but we don't want him to disappear if we didn't have an image he would just dis blink while it's checking and then go to go to an animation so we don't want that so we want a walk check we'll call this and so we got him assigned, so we can now delete the link from idle to walk because that is not what we're going to check anymore. We are now going to add a link to walk check, and we're going to base this off the same thing for the walk, and that was if input is pressed. And I actually got the eight directional input to work. I just clicked these ones, these uh, the up, left, right, down directions, and it worked. Last time I think I clicked on everything and maybe that's why it didn't work. So hit OK. And so that's easy. Change if any of these conditions are met. And now we're going to add a link from the check. First off to walk because that's what we're checking to see if we can walk. And then also we're going to add a link back to idle because we're also checking which one does it go to. Does it go from here? Does it go to idle or does it go to walk? And so like I was saying, we are going to do this by getting the variables of the move speed. So on page two, under switch variable changes, we're gonna go to the variable. These are switches and these are variables. We're gonna check this object's switch. 
we're going to check the x direction speed and we're going to see if it's equal to zero meaning that it is not moving in the x direction and we're going to hit ok we're then going to copy paste and go into that one and we're going to select the y direction and make sure equal to zero that's correct and we want this to be and because we want both of these to be true to go to idle because there is that time when you are up against an object you can strafe left and right but you can't go up we still want the walking motion to be showing on that so now we're going to grab these copy and we're going to go to this check and we're going to paste and this check we're just going to there's a couple ways we could do this the first way is we could go in here and we could change them both to not equal with the exclamation point equal sign or I'm just going to cancel out or we can just click this button right here and it means do the opposite of whatever's in here or or do not this so so if it's not equal to zero then it will go to walk the thing is though is we want it as or not and because again the strafing thing we want it either to be the y-axis or the x-axis or both doesn't matter and then that will lead us to our walk so we also need a link back to idle from walk so let's grab these variables and paste them right here and these will be the same to go back to idle and I think we have everything set up we have from our idle when input is pressed we do a check we check if there's no movement at all or we check if there is movement in any of the axes if so then we go to walk and we stay there until there is no movement and then we go back to idle so hopefully that makes sense let's try it out and so you move around let's go up to this house and notice that you're not strafing but as you do strafe you move but if you're just hitting up it doesn't move it's still responsive you can see just the little changes as you just tap the the button or the arrows so now let's grab our controller and let's move around with our direction pad and now let's hit that hit and hold that b button like we were and let's let go of the direction pad and boom you go to idle because we are given some awesome variables to use to check if we even have a speed going so that's that and hopefully see you soon